NASA's Atlas HKO telescope in Hawaii is part of an early asteroid impact warning system that scans the entire sky several times a night for moving objects. On the 16th of June 2018, Atlas HKO was performing its routine scan when it captured something very unusual, a flash 100 times brighter than a regular supernova that disappeared within days. The scramble was on. Scientists immediately started analyzing the data to understand what they'd just seen. They pinpointed the explosion as coming from the Hercules constellation, some 180 million light years away. Officially designated AT 2018 Cow, the event was affectionately nicknamed the Cow, after the last three letters in its name. Once located, it was quickly classified as a Type 1b supernova. This kind of supernova, also known as a core collapse explosion, is formed when massive stars collapse under their own gravity. But something about this particular explosion didn't quite fit. When taking a closer look at the cow's emission spectrum, it didn't look very typical for a type 1b supernova. It had unusually broad emission lines and very weak helium lines. Scientists thought it appeared more reminiscent of a Type 1 CBL supernova, and so it was quickly reclassified. However, the more scientists poured over the data, the more surprised they were by what they found. Whatever this explosion was, it started to look less and less like a supernova, at least not the kind of supernova we'd expect. For starters, it appeared out of nowhere. This blast went from inactive to peak luminosity in just a few days. Like we mentioned earlier, supernovae usually take a few months to reach their brightest and dim again at a similar pace. Not only that, it was registered to be 10 to 100 times brighter than an ordinary supernova. Also, everything about the way it exploded was wrong. When supernovae explode, they tend to release their energy in a spherical shape. We know now that the shock waves sent out after a supernova can be aspherical due to the presence of strong magnetic fields which can distort the shape of the initial blast. However, upon closer inspection, this mystery explosion did not even explode spherically. The researchers themselves called it the most aspherical explosion ever seen. Soon enough, other theories were being put forward. Some thought the cow could be a monster black hole shredding a passing star. Others suggested it was a supernova that gave birth to a black hole or a neutron star. But let's step back for a moment. It's really hard to draw any conclusions when you only have one of something. Every year since 2018, astronomers have spotted a mysterious blue flash in the sky. It is one of the brightest phenomena in the universe an explosion that makes the average supernova look like a faintly lit candle in the distance. Some have been spotted closer to us and others billions of light years away. They look similar enough to one another, but no one knows what they are or what causes them. Through rigorous observation and analysis, astronomers began decoding a pattern and formulating a tentative but plausible theory. Until in 2023, they saw something that left them completely baffled. These explosions are called luminous fast blue optical transients, and there's simply nothing else like them out there. Join me today as we dive into the mystery of space's brightest explosions, how they were discovered, and why they keep stumping scientists again and again. Being such a recently discovered event, the data we have on luminous fast blue optical transients, or LF bots for short, is minimal. The first LF bot ever detected was identified just six years ago in 2018, and we've only witnessed a handful of them since. As so little is known about them, it makes agreeing on a universal definition a little tricky. For now, what scientists do all agree on 
are some common characteristics these LF bots seem to share. So far, they all display a predominantly blue emission, very high optical luminosity, and being bright in X-rays, ultraviolet rays, and radio waves. They're also very fast, as their name indicates. LF bots go off like a cosmic camera flash. They reach peak brightness and then dim very rapidly, usually in the space of hours or days. As you might know, a supernova follows the same pattern of brightening and then dimming, but this dimming takes weeks or months. This short-lived nature of LF bots makes them difficult to spot and study. So how did we manage to capture such an elusive event? As the saying goes, once is an anomaly, twice is a coincidence, and three times is a pattern. What researchers really needed was a bigger sample size, more instances of this kind of explosion, so they could compare observations and deduce any patterns that might arise. Luckily, it didn't take long for scientists to get their eyes on a second similar explosion. A few months later, in September 2018, the cosmic camera flashed again, and again, for a third time in 2020. Keeping in the tradition of pulling animal nicknames from the last three letters of their official names, we had the beginnings of a LF bot zodiac. The cow was joined by the koala and the camel. And just like that, they had data on three separate LF bot events. They could start hunting for patterns. When analyzing the cow, koala and camel, one of the first things that stood out to researchers was the location of these events. Even though they all happened in different parts of the universe, each blast was registered as coming from inside the spiral arm of a galaxy. At first, this information emboldened the initial theory that LF bots were just a type of core collapse supernova. Let me explain why. The kind of star that causes a core collapse supernova is a massive star, one of the biggest types of stars you can get. And as you know, the bigger the star, the shorter its lifespan. This means that these massive stars don't get the chance to travel very far before they die. It would make sense then that their supernovae occur very close to the star cluster where they were born. And what part of the galaxy is known for having such star clusters, the spiral arms? The exact place we saw all three LF bots. But just as researchers seem to be making progress, something happened that caught them completely off guard again. Like the Atlas HKO in Hawaii, the Zwicky Transient Facility is a very wide-angle ground-based camera that scans the whole northern night sky every two days. In 2022, it detected another similar explosion, except after the initial blinding flash, this optical transient started behaving rather strangely. Instead of exploding once and fading away in a few days like the other LF bots before it, the so-called Tasmanian Devil continued to produce short-duration bursts far longer than expected. What's more, each of these bursts seemed to be just as bright as the original explosion, which was very strange indeed. And there is more to this research that we can add in the upcoming series of the videos. If you want to watch the next part, then comment down below and subscribe to our channel for more space science educational videos. Thank you for watching until the end.